This is exactly why I recommend everybody installs a fuel pressure sensor when they install their Holly EFI system. This truck is really cool. It's got a real basic, naturally aspirated setup that probably only makes low 300 horsepower, so it doesn't need an extensive fuel system. Should be pretty straightforward, but things do happen. We'll hop into the computer, and you take a look at this big blue line here. This is our fuel pressure. You can see that everything is nice and stable as we start the run and progressively goes downhill from there. Early on in the run here, you can see that our target air fuel ratio and our air fuel ratio match and we have a 0% closed loop correction. But as our fuel pressure starts dropping, our air fuel starts running away from the target and our closed loop compensation goes all the way up to 20%. And at this point, our fuel pressure drops to 21 PSI, which is nearly 40 PSI lower than where we started. Without a fuel pressure sensor, you're probably gonna make several runs adding fuel, trying to figure out why it's not taking the changes that you're commanding. But with a fuel pressure sensor, we can literally make one run and immediately know what the problem is, stop what we're doing, and fix the problem.